so I, here, here's uh, and, I'm, and I'm glad you're here for this, uh, Janetti. But um, so I've gone. Uh, I went yesterday again, and I went a couple weeks ago. But um, <coughs> I went uh, to the auction again around the corner from my house, and I bought. I bought uh, all types of shit. <laughs> It, 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 it's uh, yeah, it, it's very. Well, here's what I bought. Uh, yesterday I bought. Um, I bought. <laughs> uh, I, the gnome thing you bought. I, I should have bought. Now I'm like kicking myself in the ass. I didn't get the gnome thing, but I, I bought a you didn't box. Get it? Of, oh, I thought you bought that. I thought you no, bought that. no. Because that I, I got hilarious. distracted. Yeah, I got distracted like. Tr- trying to keep up with stuff, and uh, the funny story is, I'll, I'll tell you in a second, but like, uh, there was a box of old sports publications, and they were like um, auto racing programs, and that was, like, that was like the one thing that attracted me out of, out of all this stuff, and I'm like, all right, so, uh, you know, I'll stay up or whatever, and of course, as I'm there, I see like other things, the stupid things that I'm interested in, so um, I ended up getting the, the box of sports publications for Twenty two bucks. And I probably got like twenty twenty something programs in there. There's uh an old the old Eagles Super Bowl program from nineteen eighty, a Phillies series program from eighty three, um old auto racing programs from uh the Grand Prix, the United States Grand Prix from the seventies, like three or four different ones. Uh old Indianapolis five hundred programs and so anyway I was uh, a baseball magazine from 1962. Um, so I got that, and then uh, Jess wanted there was a religious prints, uh, a, a Jesus and a, a Mary. They were like big framed prints, um, old too. From from I think they were from like 64 or something. They were dated on the back. I ended up paying twenty dollars for those. I got a box of albums, probably like twenty to thirty albums of all like. <laughs> Fucking classic disco stuff up right up my alley. The Village People, uh, Barry Manilow, the Bee Gees, Andy Gibb, um, Billy Joel, uh, Donna Summer, all types of 70s albums. I got that for 10 bucks. Um, I got two boxes filled of all like religious statues and religious cards. Um, old like fucking like funeral mass cards. Um, old little pocket Bibles. There's one. It's I think it's in German. Jess said, but it's like from 1800 and something. Um, another little Bible from like 1900 and something. Like, all, like tons of like two two boxes of stuff. I got for five bucks. <laughs> uh, a box of trolls. And plush toys and stuff like that. I got for eight dollars. Um, two religious Lennox figures. I got four dollars. <laughs> and uh, it was now this is funny because yesterday Nick put up about um, the new show, the reboot of SWAT, the TV show. And as I'm looking around at the auction, they had uh, the Viewmaster. Remember the Viewmaster when we were kids, Danny? Uh, and they had the yeah. SWAT disc for it, and I, so I sent the picture over to Nick, and they had an autograph picture of the guy that played Luca, framed Mark Shearer, and I didn't even realize it was him until, like, they start auctioning it, and they got it up, and they're trying to auction it off, they're like, ten bucks, ten bucks, ten bucks, five bucks, five bucks, three bucks, three bucks, two bucks, one dollar, somebody just give me a dollar for this, I'm like, I'll give you a fucking dollar, so I bought it for a dollar, <laughs> Uh, what else did I get? Uh, music, a uh, music box from Switzerland from from the sixties or fifties or something for a dollar. <laughs> uh, a couple other music boxes for a buck a piece. Yeah, all types of crazy shit. But I, I mean, overall, I spent a hundred and two dollars for all this stuff. Okay. Yeah, but now I have like boxes of shit to go through and start situating and put on eBay. And how has your guys' eBay stuff been? Um, <laughs> last, I, last 
last month, I did well. I ended up, like, selling 30 items. So far this month, I've done, I just put up 50, uh, and I've only sold two or three things wow. so far. But I'm about 16 days in. And I'm not doing as much for auctions right now. I'm doing more buy and ounce. Okay. So, because I did a bunch of auctions uh, of comic books, and I sold one set, and I did pretty well on it. Okay. Doubled my money, but that was only one set out of uh, like a hundred and some auctions. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, and that was auction auctions. So I didn't. I don't like doing auctions. Either. You know, because people aren't watching their computers much. <laughs> What what I'm doing now, and it's weird because I'm able to do this when I do it on my – because what I do is I'll set the auction up, and then with my phone, I'll, I'll take the pictures, and then I'll list right. it on there and launch it off my phone. When I launch it off my right. phone, it gives me the option to automatically relist it three times. At, at, no, I, you can what do I, that off of anyone. The computer does that too. Does it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can automatically what, list it three times, but I don't feel like paying for it. I don't. Well, and, I, I hate paying for listings. That's the problem. See, and if you I, set it up and do that three times, it'll charge you the listing fees. Yeah, but what, what I do now is I everything I list anymore, I put it in a collectibles uh, subject. This way, I don't get charged for it. Right. Yeah. Well, I do a lot of the collectibles, but I have a bunch of other stuff that I don't. So I tend to list because I get forty items a month free. Okay. Where I can do, you know, just straight sales or whatever, auctions with them. There are 40 auctions a month uh, free. So the rest of the collectibles I do. But, you know, normally I do like 30 day buy it nows or 30, uh, or it's what are the uh, good till canceled. Right. It'll keep going. You know, it's just up there. It's for sale until you cancel it. Yeah, what what I'm doing now is I'm trying to I'm throwing them up on for regular auction first with the you know automatic relist for a couple of weeks to see if they sell just to blow them out, and if right. not, I'm flip them over to buy it now, and then raise the price a little. Yeah, yeah, it depends. I mean, last last time I sold thirty items, I did pretty well actually. Um, I sold a fisheye camera lens that I had from Nikar, uh, Nikar, well, Nikon, but it's, what is it, Nikar, the, the German version of it, okay. like 230 bucks for that one. You've always done good with that camera shit. Yeah, I did well with that. And I have a, uh, a Heidelberg camera coming up, I found. I can get now, are these, probably close to two grand with all the shit I found with it. Are, are these still your uncle's cameras you're going through, or? Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah, because mom had mom had some stuff, you know, packed away in boxes uh, that I didn't have. So wow. and then now I'm still opening shit, but I'm pretty much done. I got to bring the shit down from Virginia. Still. Wow. But yeah. But there's a lot of the stuff. I mean, that I listed, been listing over the years. Most of it's sold. I have not given away or thrown away anything that I've tried to sell, and I've sold most of it. And I still have what I don't, what I haven't sold. Hmm. That's why I like the, the free listings because I just throw that crap up there. Yeah, but I won't normally throw it up if I have to pay for the listing. Now there was there was this other guy there last night that um he was buying. Last night was really good. It wasn't that crowded, and um this it was just this one other guy who's like, I mean, making out like a bandit. Like stuff was selling for fucking one dollar, two dollars, three dollars. They couldn't give the shit away, and he was buying boxes of just stuff. And um, when I bought the box of, of uh, the sports programs, me and him were bidding back and forth. 
And there was also like two. Remember like the uh, old like fabric aprons that like uh, you put like I guess like you know like screws or nuts in or whatever like a handyman apron and they were like made out of fabric with different pockets in it. Um, there was a couple of them in there. And as I was grabbing the box to pull towards me, he goes, "You want to sell me those aprons?" I'm like, "Here, dude. I, I don't want them. Take them." He's like, you "Sure." I'm like, "Yeah." And then he came back over and he like fucking handed me ten bucks. He's like, here. I'm like, dude, no, like it's cool. He's like, no, no, take the fucking money. I'm like, all right, fine. So I only paid twelve bucks for the fucking box of, of magazine. But I told was talking to him afterwards because he kept. Oh, there was a fucking roll. I, I, we got a bidding war and I stopped at thirty bucks. Um, a roll of uncut e, e- T uh, cards. The fucking set of E T cards uncut. Oh, I was like, and we were. I, I stopped at thirty bucks, um, because I knew he wasn't stopping. But uh, I, I kept breaking his balls afterwards. I'm like, you fucking outbid me on E T, and then you keep fucking bidding me up on this other shit. Uh, it turned out I said no. I said because he mentioned he had a store. He's like, I'm just trying to make a buck and fill my stores. And I so I, yeah, I'm like, dude, where's your store? Here he's got four different stores. He's got one in South Philly. He's got one in Fishtown. He's got one in West Philly. And one uh, uh, like off South Street, of course. What is it like restores that type stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like all like you know, whatever you want to call it, resell shop, antique shop, like basically like a flea market inside a store. He finds the good stuff that's in there, and then charge that out the yin yang, and then the crap that's in. That he finds in there, he'll put that low price and you know sell that out too. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you, you figure he, uh, you know, he, uh, he he probably spent maybe if he's lucky two hundred hours last night, and uh, you know, he bought so much stuff. I mean, was buying boxes and boxes of stuff. Well, if it's there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And I, I, if I had a fucking truck, you know, to fill up, I, I believe me. <laughs> I, I, I said, uh, yeah. I said to, to Jess earlier. I, I said, you know, with all this stuff now, like I, I'm gonna have to fucking, I'll have to start doing some flea markets here and there and fucking try to pump some shit out. Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, our, 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 that's gonna be my weekend. I already said my weekend's gonna be spent fucking listing on eBay. I started today. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, I'd probably be better off for it. I hate flea markets anymore. I hate going. I hate selling at them. I don't mind going to them, but I hate selling them. You know, because you get there nice and early, and these motherfuckers, the the ones that like sell there all the time, the, the stores, right? They come try to go through your shit before you put it out. Even. Oh yeah, and uh, and they're like, oh, you give me a couple hours, you know, it's go away, man. I'm not ready yet. Get out of here. You know, it's a hustle. Hate it. They know that hustle. And you got to face those people, man. It's like, no, fuck that. Put it on eBay. You don't have to face nobody. This is the price. Buy it or don't. Sell it. Right. <laughs> Send it to them. Shut the fuck up. You, you, oh, yeah. You'd be proud, Janetti. Uh, my, my basement is, uh, well, my comics are almost completely organized. I, I've really been working on the basement and cleaning up. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. I, I, you know, I would I, say with it, mainly the, uh, it's funny, Jess couldn't find the box. <laughs> Uh, Which when are you coming up? Uh, soon, very soon. I say that all the time, but it's it's very. I have to. I, I have to make a trip up to deal with some of the uh, banking deal up there, uh, sign paperwork and shit. So I have to come up very soon. Probably shooting right now for the second week of April. Yeah. 
and uh, Nick, I got a what's it name? Uh, your uh, your poster, your Teen Titans Go poster. I want to get that. I want to get. Yeah. I want to get that framed before I send it out. This way, it doesn't get ruined. Sweet man. This is totally off topic, but I was thinking, uh, what if the Incredible Hulk became the Immortal Iron Fist? That would be awkward. I think he could probably destroy the universe. Uh, he could probably destroy the universe now if he wanted to. Yeah, you know, I don't think that, I don't think the extra glowing hand would be. Uh, well, you think about it, favor. Danny. Danny can cut right through a, pier, a pyramid by by focusing his energy and hitting it. What could the Hulk do if he did the same thing? Uh, he could probably punch right through a planet. I'm sure he could. Yeah, that'd be He'd knock Galactus's head off. <laughs> yeah. I don't think Galactus is still alive in the in the comics anymore. I think they got rid of him. Oh really? Yeah. Now he might be making a comeback because they've now that they're they're making deals with Fox for their shit back. Uh, they're starting to bring the Fantastic Four back around. He's part of that. I love the fact that they didn't have the rights, so they just stopped making the comic books. They're like, we're not going to promote you. Yeah, right, exactly. Um, which, uh, you know, they, they've they lost uh, a lot of their good characters. Like that. The only reason, the only one they didn't do that with was Spider-Man, for obvious reasons. That's crazy. So, uh, yeah. Now, either of you guys watch Jessica Jones? I have not. As I just finished the Defenders a little while ago, actually. Okay. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. But uh, no, that's all. That's what you can say. It wasn't bad. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Um, what was I going to say? I and real quick, I I want to get your opinion on this. Um, they are bringing back. They're considering bringing back Batman the animated series. Oh, wow. I heard about that. My thought is that if they don't bring it back the way it was, would it do as well as it did? <laughs> like you, you have, have you seen just have you seen Justice League action? Um Nick? I know the newest one. No, I haven't. Like it's the one they have on. I think it's on Cartoon Network. I think. I I haven't seen it. No. The um, they brought back the voices. Like Mark Hamill does the Joker, and he does Swamp Thing. He does a couple of the voices. Kevin Conroy does Batman's voice, and they have the original people from uh, Justice League Unlimited doing the voices. I think Wonder Woman's different. Is the animation uh, the same? No, not quite. And this is my point of that. What I think honestly happened between Batman Animated Series, Batman Beyond, Justice League Unlimited, and even with Young Justice, it was very teen, late teen, early adult to adult stuff in those shows. Right. You know what I mean? It wasn't very kid-oriented. Now it seems no, like it's just a young action. Yeah, and and the thing with these now, I think it's more they're more geared towards kids. Like the animation is that you know more kid animated type. You know what I mean? Yo, so are you afraid that you're going to get Batman the animated series go? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, you know, and, and one of the reasons that Batman, the animated series, did so well is because of how dark it was. How, um, you know, not even adult-wise, but how 
dark the character became. That's what brought Batman into the nine, and you know, uh, after the Dark Knight Returns, kind of gave him his balls back. Yeah. But they made him a little more darker than he was throughout the '60s. You know, the '60s, the Batusi and all that crap, and the '70s where he was, you know, the blue and gray, and and into the '80s and. It made him more darker, and I think that's what made him more of a popular character uh, with people. And especially that's what made that animated series what it was. One so. thing I liked about the animated series is that it was the first or one of the first cartoons that when they started drawing their animations, they started on black background. Right. So all the yeah. white was added, so the darkness of Gotham was, like, always there. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. And Paul, uh, Bruce Tim and Paul Denis did, did just a fantastic job uh, with that series. And, I mean, it, it, even the darker the darker tone is, is too, but the darker storylines, um, you know, were, were just over with me. So... Yeah, I'm hoping that we don't get uh, Batman animated go. Because they, they, uh, they did that kind of with the Batman, but even that was a little darker than, than you know, what they I have I think now. Teen Titans go gets a bad rep, dude. It does, but I remember the Teen Titans beforehand, and it was better. You know, no, that it Japanese was, but... Kind of, but this kind show of bullshit that they much, do is just irritating. But the show it does very very much pay tribute to that old Teen Titans show. It's got a lot of the same voice cast. They're using a lot of the same characters. Right. It's just, no, and I agree with you. You know, little I kids. Agree. Yeah, I just I understand that, but that that stuff is, is what bothers me with that crap. You know, I mean, I. I you uh, want to so see that's why I'm saying that. One Even of the Justice best episodes League, uh, of Teen Titan Go is when they find out there was a Teen Titans cartoon and they make them watch it and then they all want to quit because the cartoon was too good. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay, like, uh, when it switched over, man, I was like, what the hell? Come on. And I think that's honestly, that's Cartoon Network saying you guys are too dark. <clears throat> You know, this from the same people that had the adventures of Bill and or Grim and Mandy or whatever the fuck it was called. Yeah. You know, or Mandy and Grim, whatever. Oh, that was terrible. Bill and Mandy. They, yeah. The uh, they today I was on the uh, Warner Brothers A listers. It's a review thing. They they send things to you to to review and look at and. And see how it was. And they sent this cartoon that they're doing for TBS. And it was called Close Enough. And it was okay. terrible. It was fucking terrible. But it was like, I guess in the same vein as like a family guy, family, you know, that they li- they're living in California in an apartment with like stupid people with them. And they have roommates. It was it was just terrible, man. It was really bad. Um, but that's the kind there's, of shit that they're putting out today. There's one on Netflix called uh, Big Head, and it's mm-hmm. like a little boy and his imaginary friend is a monster. But in this scenario, the imaginary friend is like um, puberty. So he's constantly talking about, like, fucking the teacher, and he's, like, pulling it out in class, and... Like it's really bad. It's definitely not for kids. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, it's I, pretty nuts. Big mouth. Yeah. Big mouth. Uh, yeah, it was just terrible, man. The cartoons nowadays just suck. You know, right up there with the Squid Billies, and I know they stopped doing it, but <laughs> I hated '90s cartoons. Except for the yeah. animated uh, Batman or Justice League or Superman, whatever it was. You know, hey, the hey, other shit just sucked. One, one of the eight different Spider-Mans. Yeah, right? 
So I do. I mean, I'm, I I do watch, huh? Hey, were you saying something? I just want to say, uh, you want to laugh real quick? Uh, uh, Supernova, Mike Bucci, he he put up Nissa Al Ghul is a ten, and uh, I, I know Janetti knows this because he. Always like every day, bad bad mouth the Philadelphia Eagles. So I just had a comment. She is, and she's an Eagles fan as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh, right. She had that video up on her Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> she good. Yeah, they they didn't make Talia that pretty. I, I didn't think that girl was that they made Talia was that good looking. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, that's good. I mean, I, are we thinking that, like, in comparison to Nissa? Because there's no way that she could hold up. Like, <laughs> no. you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> for Nissa to be the ugly sister, the older sister would have to be Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> And not like played by Scarlett Johansson. It would have to actually be just Scarlett Johansson. Like, yeah. No. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, you know who to say? I was going to ask you about this. Did, uh, this week, did Vixen get way hotter? Um, no. Isis did. Okay, okay, I got you on, on that one. She was, too. You know you, you know what? This week, Vixen um, rubbed me wrong because <laughs> they changed her wigs too quick. Like, it, it's not even, like, change the wig, uh, you know, weekly. It's like she went from super kinky curly to super poker straight in like a blink of an eye, and it really bothered. Oh, you're, you're talking about when she also put on her uniform in like thirty seconds. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Curtis yeah. on Arrow going from having the the fro to the braids when he puts the the costume on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> Oh man! So I, hey, I, I ordered uh, that uh, that meal prep thing I was telling you about. I ordered uh, yeah an order in. Okay, so what did you get? Did you get like a week's lunches? I ordered. Uh, hold up real quick. So I got the girls. Uh, I figured let me get the you know see if the girls wanted anything, and their speed was um, chicken and waffles, <laughs> and um, the uh, the Nutella peanut butter wrap. But, uh, got them a bunch of those for the week. And I ordered, I ordered a, a vegan chili, a Mexican beef, uh, curry pork tacos. Oh. Uh, what else did I get? And I got two pounds of chicken salad. So I figured that'll be oh, good wow. for the week. And I also uh, I ordered three different kinds of their baked chicken wings because you you can they come in a metal tin. I figured me and Jess can do that for dinner one night. Just pop them in the oven. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I I saw the uh, the chicken and waffles and that looked pretty good. And I was looking at the other stuff and then I got really sad because it only in your area. And then I was like, yeah, of course it is, because how the hell would they get it here from there? 
<laughs> like, right. Yeah. Well, oh, man. What happened was they started uh, following me on Instagram probably like six months ago. And they're really, really super active on Instagram where they're constantly all day long putting out, um, you know, snippet vids, you know, them little quick, you know, minute, minute whatever they are, minute, minute videos and pictures and shit. And I'm like, damn, that looks good. Damn, that looks good. And then I've started seeing, you know, people will send messages, uh, you know, with feedback and stuff. And then a lot of, um, a lot of the media people in the Philadelphia area have um, hopped on the bandwagon and started do- eating their food and posting good things about it. So I'm um, kept seeing all this stuff, seeing all this stuff. And then I was like, you know what? Like a couple of times I was like, I'm going to order, I'm going to order it. And I just didn't. And then I, I said to I said to Jess and the girls at dinner, I'm like, look, there's this thing, uh, like, fuck it, uh, you know, I think it'd be a healthier option instead of, you know, the shit that we do eat for lunch or breakfast or whatever than help a little bit. So. Yeah, dude, I definitely want to know how that turns out because that, some of that stuff looks really good. And they deliver it right to your house. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. You just basically heat it up. Yeah. It comes in a little yeah. like plastic containers. Just like, yeah. And I read even that even the plastic containers are reusable, so you could like, you know what I mean? You, you could yeah. start like packing your own stuff too. Dude, I already actually I already went and bought my own containers <laughs> like uh, a couple months ago with the intent to do that, but who the fuck feels like fucking like it, it, this is something we were talking about the other day was just cooking and food and um yeah because we always end up eating out. Yeah. Well, you spend a, you spend a day cooking food and then making it out for the for the time. So you spend a day or two days doing that shit. Who the fuck? Uh, oh, oh, all right, Nick. Who the fuck is what is this three way? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Nick just put up. It's well documented that my dream three way is South Epitha Murkison. Did I say that right? S S and Papa Murkison and C C H Pounder. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get you a picture, okay? Because there's no way I can explain it to you. It's just, it's, yeah, it's a joke. Oh, man. Oh. Uh. Trying to think. I think there was. Oh, uh, on the whole eating out situation and stuff. Uh, yeah. Do you ever do you ever use um any like Groupons or living social type things, Nick? You know, I keep telling myself that I'm going to, and I just I, I don't ever do it because I'm always like afraid that. I'm going to show them my phone, and they're just going to be like, what the fuck are you doing? It, that's stupid. You fell for that? See, I, I whenever I see the one that, for a place that I know or I've heard of, I fucking I get them. I use them all the time. Really? Oh, yeah, dude. And you do it, like, digitally, just right on your your phone? No. No, I hate, I hate, I hate fucking hate using the phone like that. I, I've told you that. <laughs> like you said about the app. I, I don't like using apps. Uh, so you still, I, I, you fucking print them out? I fucking print them out, and I bring them home. <laughs> like, like, I have two printers at home. I got to print it at my office. So I'll print it out, and I tell Jess to put it in her fucking handbag. <laughs> no, that's, yeah. I, I, I mean, I might consider it knowing that you've used it a bunch, but I oh, always yeah. just uh, figured that it was bullshit. You know what I mean? No, dude. Not at all. Do you, do you know how many times I, I've used them? Like, I, I wait patiently for when, uh, especially Kitchen Consigliere fucking does them from, like, once a year. 
and I'll buy a bunch of them and stock up on them. <laughs> <laughs> this local cheesesteak place that um, I, I said for years, I need to try, I need to try, I need to try. And the guy that owns Carl's Cards, Carl, he actually he actually just fucking moved around the corner from me a few months ago. And I kept seeing him and his wife kept checking in there. And I said to him when I was at his store, uh, you know, last month for a signing, I'm like, how is that place? He's like, oh, my God, you have to go. You have to go. So next thing I know, <clears throat> I saw a, a Groupon for it. I'm like, well, fuck, I'm going to buy a Groupon for it. I fucking paid $15 and got 30 bucks back. And so, I mean, I got a free 15 bucks. We went there for dinner, and, uh, yeah, fucking amazing. It's my new go-to cheesesteak place. I went there, oh, wow. there last weekend. I got a fucking uh, gr- grilled cheese cheesesteak. It was like a fucking cheesesteak patty melt. It was unbelievable. Damn. See, that sounds good, man. <laughs> It was awesome. Yeah. I got one more to use for there. And now I just saw they're not in group on now. Now they're on Living Social. So I'm going to buy a couple more on Living Social now. Damn. Yeah, dude. Look at that. We the other day we went to this place called King Sub, and I got something called the Big Boy. And it was just like, imagine just like a regular hoagie roll, but like three times not just three times longer, but, like, three times bigger. You know what I mean? Like, all around. And it was just fucking stuffed with, like, eight different kinds of Italian meats and cheeses. And, yeah. That sounds good. It was a, I Legitimately, I ate it over three meals. Wow. And it was, like, nine bucks. I'm still very disturbed by your pictures you sent me. <laughs> oh, you had to be there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> well, on that note, anything else before we uh, wrap it up for tonight? No, I think that uh, that's everything on my list. Nope. Nope. All right, then. Well, let's wrap it up. All right, man. It's been almost four hours. And uh, in yeah. case uh, if people haven't heard or, or realized, which you're not here right now because we're after hours, but um, we're now on Google Play. Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever used Google Play, but that's cool. Yeah, I don't either. I don't have. I'm not. We're, I'm an iPhone guy, but. In all fairness, I've also never used iTunes. <laughs> oh well. Fuck! I'm gonna put music on my phone for Spotify exists in this world. See, I I I use iTunes, but not on my fucking phone. I use it on my fucking uh, computer. And I got no room. Oh, see, I use Spotify on my computer too because uh, it's an app on my computer, so that I don't have to download anything. Yeah, I had an iPod. I had an i uh, iPod Touch that I used to download music for. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, all right. Well, everybody, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for, uh, to Damiano for calling in and giving us uh, his horror story of American Idol. Make sure you check him out, Damiano Christian. And uh, thanks to thanks to Gennady for coming back. It's been a couple of weeks. Always, uh, yeah. always love talking to Gennady and catching up. Yay. Thank you. Yeah. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> thanks to Nick uh, for, for being Nick. Something, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks everybody for tuning in. And uh, yeah, we we took you through some highs and lows tonight. We we went from children, depressing songs, eating pizza in a cemetery, um, <laughs> a nightmare, a tryout on the American Yeah, right. 
to group on and living social. Uh, <laughs> this episode was like seven reasons why. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Worst part is we're only halfway there, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, on yeah, that we're note, on the right <clears throat> and the worst part is, uh, I, I was looking forward to when I came down into the basement to start the episode. The girls were putting the brownies in the oven. And I was looking forward to going up and having a brownie and a glass of milk, and I can't <laughs> even. <do that>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Maybe you while. should eat one anyway, and then it'll be like negative reinforcement. You'll never like brownies again. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> I can't even do that. They threw them <laughs> out. <coughs> well, I mean, you know, it might, either that or he might just say they taste good. No, they'd be screwed. <laughs> <coughs> All right, guys. On that note, Never had I'm going to get a wrap it up and head to bed. Uh, everybody, thanks again. Have a happy Easter, everybody, if uh, you're celebrating. And if not, go to Hooters. They're having, like, uh, I think $3 fucking boneless wings that day for Easter. I'm contemplating going for lunch. There you go.